Darren DeVries goes to uh, from Drake to West Virginia. Um, even this to me, you have a, a little bit of a bigger sample size than FAU. Uh, I mean, Dusty May and FAU because he was at Drake for what I feel like like seven or eight years, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and and I mean, I remember him playing back in the day at Northern Iowa, but uh, he, he's another McDermott assistant. You see, you see a shit ton of them scattered through college basketball. Um, they, they've, they've, they've done quite well. I mean, does he have any connections to West Virginia? I have no fucking idea. Max here to tell me that, but I can tell you that. I mean, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a bad play. I mean, this guy won 20 games or more every year in the Valley. So I would be actually, I would have this rated a little bit higher than the dusty may one. I, my only thing is like, and, and I guess you don't really recruit locally anymore. So it's like, whatever, go use the portal. It's just, it was, it was a little bit interesting that he went to West Virginia, but I, I, I kind of would, I kind of think this one makes more sense than the dusty may one to me, but, but it doesn't mean it's going to, do I think they're going to like destroy the big 12? No, I, but I do. I think they can make NCAA tournaments with them. Sure. Yeah. Tell me more though, because I know you're low. You're you're closer to the scenario there. Like, what what do you, what do you so, like? What do you don't like? Um. So what I do like, like you said, sustained success. Won twenty games every single year at Drake. Um. Finished first or second in the Valley every single year, with the one year being the COVID year. So, um, I mean, we talked about how great Indiana State was this year. Drake was right there with them, neck and neck the entire way. They beat them two out of three. Um. He's he's gonna have some battles though. I mean, he's he's gonna the the guy that before him, the Hall of Famer, is still in town. That's a distraction, whether people want to admit it or not. That's he's filling big shoes here. It's gonna be a hard job. I, I give it a B. Um, just because he's never coached at the high major level. I know he was a McDermott guy, he's an Altman guy. I do like the those trees. They've they've won at the high major consistently. I think I think bringing his son really helps because I think they need to gut the whole thing just with how things ended with hugs in the whole era. Unfortunately, I mean, it kills me to say it, but I got to call a spade a spade. Um, but I think bringing Tucker over, bringing the two kids that hit the portal today, I, I think that gets you a chance to win in your number one. But honestly, I don't really even care about your number one. I hope that they're competitive. Maybe they get a chance to get in the dance, but I, I'm, I'm hoping what Iowa state has done with the could be what we can do where you can sneak in the tournament Maybe you get a good draw. Maybe you win a game. We're seeing it kind of with like NC State. Maybe you even get to Sweet 16 as like the Cinderella. You sustain a year two, then year number three, you you contend. Yeah. And, and see, Nick, I'd be curious because I know he's close to the fire and he's a dub V fan. So it's almost like no with Michigan. <laughs> I I like the I like the longer sample size than say Dusty May. Yeah, it was longer by what yeah. a year? So it wasn't like I think it was a couple of years, right? No. Uh, my just it's, my memory's all fucked up. I thought he's he been was more here. consistent. Okay. Yeah, he has been more consistent. And he also came into a dumpster fire when when Nedved left Drake, and a bunch of the players graduated that year. So even in year one, he came out and and surprised people and had a twenty four and ten year. So um, yeah, the guy was ready for a, a promotion. He was ready for you know a major conference job. Um, and let's face it, if you're grading West Virginia against Michigan. I think Michigan's probably the more attractive job. They have deeper pockets. Uh, so, not only deeper pockets, they've been to th- what three or four national championships since you know right. I've been alive. Uh, West Virginia's not an attractive job right now. I'm not here to. I mean, with, yeah. with the hug saying in the background, yeah. that's not a. It's not an attractive. Yeah. It's a hard job right now. So if these two candidates are about equal, and for for West Virginia to land the same caliber candidate as Michigan, I I think that's a win. Now, obviously, people are going to say Darren DeVries. DeVry, sorry, he's never won a game in the, in the NCAA tournament where where May went to the Final Four. But, you know, I mean, like we were saying, like you just catch the right breaks and you get hot at the right time with the right group of guys. Yeah. One Wayne time, Dinkle. one time, uh, you know, it, that can happen. So I think it's a good hire. I'd probably, I'd probably say B plus just because I think it's a similar hire, but, you know, West Virginia is not as as attractive as a job. Yeah, I give it. I give it. I would give it like a B plus to me. B plus. I think it's better than the May hire, but it's not like that much better than the May hire. Um, it's safe. 
it, yeah. it, it's what it's what it's as good as they were gonna do. I I know everybody was throwing around the big names, Chris Beard. They weren't ever getting that with with, with the hugs thing uh, going down the way it did. And uh, Otzel Berger also did not win an NCAA tournament game before he got to Iowa State. So I think I think like Nick said, sometimes the upset at, at the mid major can be a little bit overrated. I mean, shit. Shaka hadn't got back to the Sweet 16 until this year, and it's been a decade since he left VCU. Yeah, and, and he can send Ted Boyle a fucking Christmas card. Um, <laughs> <Exactly>. uh, <laughs>